Frosher digital axle counter. This is multi section digital axle counter. Frosher working principle based on current dampening. Wheel dampening whenever wheel passes on SIS1, SIS2, the 100% current uh, sensed by the indoor equipment get reduced to the more than okay uh, 75% depth. This is supposed to happen in sequence uh, to SIS1 followed by SIS2. Working principle uh, going to be covered in detail uh, in the following videos. Now, Frosher equipment uh, basically divided into the outdoor equipment and the indoor equipment. Outdoor equipment. Outdoor equipment RSR 180. This is the main sensing uh, equipment. Uh, comes with uh, 5 meters or 10 meters or 15 meters cable, tail cable with a protective tube and it accessories. And uh, this is a testing uh, plate uh, which is also required for the simulation purpose. And these are the mounting bolts. This is uh, the claw upon which the sensor is going to be fixed. This sensor is very flexible to fix on any rail profile and uh, easily it can be adjustable. Mounting uh, without hole is possible here. This is a view of uh, after fixing uh, inside of the track. This is a close view of uh, our wheel sensor. This is a wheel sensor. This portion we call the SIS1 and uh, this is SIS2. Now these are the very important uh, mounting precautions. Uh, now after fixing the sensor, there are two important dimensions. Now inside of uh, this inner gauge of the rail, supposed to be the sensor which is okay coming to close to the web, uh, is supposed to maintain the dimension B. Uh, this is supposed to be maintained 0 to 8 mm. Eh? Whereas next very important dimension protecting from any wheel passing on the sensor that is a, a letter A. So A dimension supposed to follow 40 to 45 mm. Now let us discuss uh, the Frosher uh, digital axle counter indoor equipment ACS 2000 which begins with a one cubicle and one over voltage protection BSI and uh, BGT rack and ABP and one fuse board this is a fuse board and uh, evolution board this is a evolution board and the next item is the axle counter board this is an axle counter board now in this uh, slide we are showing a DIOV this is an optional now this is a quick view of uh, connecting indoor and outdoor this is a wheel sensor which is a uh, the termination of tail cable is done at the one junction box we call in GAK. From there to the indoor cubicle, uh, we are running one quad cable. And uh, these are the okay, interfaces with the, uh, the motherboard uh, upon which we are wiring for the purpose of picking up the track relay and the reset. MSDSC applications. MSDSC, multi-section digital axle counter. First application is two detection points in a single section that is in straight line three or four detection point in single section that is in point zone multi detection points in single section for example of ladder layout and consecutive signal sections in a straight line auto block and the next is intermediate block signaling and uh, next is a station yard which consists of berthing tracks and point zones and the block section and the last one is a it's a fallback system uh, to support a ETCS level 1 as well as 2. Now let us discuss uh, the equipment which is there in train detection laboratory Frosher ACS 2000. Still axle counter Frosher maker. This is a Frosher sensor technology. The model is ACS 2000. ACS 2000 means uh, 
axle counter system 2000 is the series now the, this is indoor equipment the feed for the sensor uh, which is extended from the indoor equipment and the process will be done here and at site no electronic uh, equipment is there now this lab model uh, consists of uh, five sensors uh, uh, this dp1 dp2 dp3 dp4 dp5 with the five uh, there are three track sections of form dp1 dp2 is a track section one dp2 dp3 dp4 is a point zone and the other one is the uh, block section uh, uh, track section that is between dp4 and dp5 now these are the 5 dp three track sections uh, processing boards uh. now this is supposed to be in sm room for simulation purpose which is right now okay mounted inside of this cubicle this is a reset box of three track sections whereas the block proving track section is a station a reset and station b reset uh, there are two okay at a and n as well as b end and uh, these are the uh, processing okay circuit boards uh, for resetting purpose one more change in case of uh, axle counter system uh, that is a uh, uh, pr will be a miniature relay whereas vr will be of a q style relay now this is a browser uh, wheel sensor uh, unit uh, this is going to be placed uh, inside of the track and for this there is a claw the holes are not required and this uh, sensor system uh, further divided into two parts uh, the first portion we call the system 1 and the second portion we will call it the system 2 now this is having a fixed tail cable of uh, four conductors each uh, they are of uh, length uh, 5 meters 10 meters and uh, 15 meters now the mounting instruction uh, to this web uh, uh, number one, the height from the surface of the rail, this is supposed to be 40 to 45 mm. And the next, uh, the important dimension is, the sensor once we are fixing, uh, this is not supposed to be inside. Uh, uh, the range is uh, 0 to 8 mm. Now the sensor tail cable is terminated uh, to this uh, JB, junction box. Uh, now four conductors of the sensors connected here and here the 0.9 quad uh, four conductors are okay, connected here. Now this cable of quad 0.9 is extended all the way to the indoor equipment. From the sensors uh, which is again uh, coming uh, in the form of quad uh, is going to be terminated inside of this cubicle in the indoor part. Now that is uh, connected with the uh, uh, Rousher recommended okay, the surge voltage device. Uh, uh, here in this case uh, there are 5 sensors are terminated here with proper surge uh, for 5 numbers and from here again it is okay coming to the termination of the input uh, inside of this processing boards. Now here uh, uh, there are 5 sensors connected to 3 track sections. Uh, the first one if you see this is a connector which is uh, with which the four conductors of the DP1 and the four conductors of the DP2 terminated over here and one more connector to the rear of this processing board mother board uh, the connector this is for the reset and relay and whereas these two okay the connections are for the power supply to process uh, the uh, input and output uh, the data which is coming from the field to the indoor equipment now here there are uh, color code cables are connected now in this case the blue color is uh, the model also extended for the double use of each dp now this is a dp2 which is shared to the track section 1 as well as track section 2 likewise uh, here the red color conductors are for the making that sensor into the deactivate mode to suppress the push trolley countings now with the help of this uh, uh, typical layout uh, now we'll try to understand the browser uh, working uh. now there are two sensors uh, here the wheel sensor which has connected on the track 
and which are in turn coming to the indoor equipment uh, where they are connected directly to the EB of each uh, dedicated processing board. Uh, EB uh, means uh, it is evolution board. So with this diagram it is very clear that the each sensor is supposed to be connected with each evolution board. The evolution board plays the role of uh, not only extending the power supply to the sensors which is required to pro generate that uh, wheel sensing uh, the supply and also the data with or without wheel what are the input is coming that is again here being processed by the evolution board likewise the each dedicated uh, the sensors are connected with uh, that many numbers of EBs and that data for further process uh, purpose uh, it is connected to one more extended board that we call ACB ACB in this case is axle counter board now the axle counter board based on the how many DPs are connected that all DP status after evaluating this is going to declare the section status uh, whether that is at the time clear, occupied or fail by picking up a concerned uh, the VR relay and the ACP also connected with the reset circuit and on ACP there is a display with which uh, it is not only going to display the number of axles enter in the track section and uh, number of axles out and when there is a track section clear that is going to show as a zero and uh, this model requires 24 volt DC as a working input. Now same thing uh, just now whatever we discussed on the schematic diagram now we are going to see the actual processing board. Now this is a power supply board, this is an ACB axle counter board. For this board uh, there are two inputs are connected one is the output form is the relay track relay that is a track section relay VR and the second one which is connected to this one is the reset circuit. Now in this case it is a preparatory reset uh, and third one on this board uh, there are indications uh, when the power supply is given 24 to the fuse board then once the power supply is available for this as uh, ACB then 5 volt is going to be displayed over here and this is uh, for the uh, status of the track section 0 means track section is clear and uh, these are the some okay the feather type uh, switches uh, which is given for in case of uh, uh, initiating the reset uh, this is for only company use or only at the time of uh, installation and uh, this is a socket for extending the connecting a uh, diagnostic uh, interface with the centralized CPU and these are the two boards uh, uh, function of uh, this board uh, we call it uh, the evolution board. Now this is uh, in the 2 out of 2 architecture. The top portion of this one is for the SIS1 processing and the bottom portion of this one is for the SIS2 processing. Now in which right now the first uh, the green LED in the fixed okay, lit form conveys the message that the power supply is available. Now this also going to okay display whenever is there any error of the SIS1 as well as SIS2. Not only the error while working also it is going to display uh, the progress of the wheel whether it is in or out and uh, these are the four boards uh, which are uh, now required uh, for the two DPs uh, to form one track section. Now second track section uh, uh, now in this model is uh, DP2, DP3 and DP4. Here uh, the design wise the change is uh, now this DP2 is a physical hardware only available whereas uh, the DP2 and DP3, uh, DP4 sorry DP2 and DP4 which is getting shared from uh, its adjacent track circuit. Now here only uh, one DP sensor is connected and uh, of course this connector is for the reset and relay. And whereas this is a DP2 is being getting shared virtually from the track section 1 and uh, this is a uh, okay the DP4 is being shared from the track section 3. So there are two okay the shared uh, DPs are input and one physical together this is forming uh, the track section of uh, three DPs one track section. So for this uh, one power supply board is required. ACBs must for each track section one ACB and one physical hardware of the DP which is uh, driven by this 
EB, evolution board. Now the future of uh, ACS 2000 brochure. Now the sensor uh, from this cubicle can be a distance maximum of uh, 4.4 kilometers. Uh, the calculation for that is the point and quad uh, which offers 56 ohm per kilometer which uh, the data and power supply can be extended from here to the 4.4 kilometers. In case if it is more than that, especially the cases required in the track section is the block. Uh, so for this model, uh, the track section 3 which is here simulated for the block uh, which is more than 4.4 kilometers. Now in which case uh, the modem is required and the DP4 uh, in the station A which is supposed to be placed at the starter. For this the processing boards are uh, the power supply board and the ACB and this DP is supposed to be connected with one EB. So these are the three boards at that station A for the DP4 and uh, at station B DP5 this is supposed to be placed uh, near to the home so for this also these boards are supposed to be placed in station B cubicle now there also the number uh, number of cards let us see fuse board and the axle counter board and the evolution board for connecting to the DP5 so DP4 DP5 which is uh, in this case uh, designed to work for the uh, block section or the section which is more than 4.4 kilometers.